One person single-handedly launched Texas A&M's athletics program and it all started with the donation of this land. Edwin Jackson Kyle was a professor of horticulture at Texas A&M, but in 1904 he was named president of the school's athletics program. Kyle needed a field for student athletes, but Texas A&M was unwilling to provide any funds, so Kyle had to get creative with the resources he already had. With his background in agriculture for the university, Kyle fenced off a corner of the campus that he was already using for his horticulture experiments. With his own money, he purchased a grandstand and bleachers to fit up to 500 people. A month later, the ground officially became Texas A&M's permanent field for its athletics program. And in honor of the man who made it all happen, the students unofficially referred to the ground as Kyle Field, and the name stuck until this very day. Today, the stadium is used for the Texas A&M Aggies football program and is currently the sixth largest stadium in the world. So imagine where the Aggies would be today if Kyle didn't take it upon himself 